All right, and now with the recording having started, we're gonna do everything else that I got set up here. So, oh, let me bring this back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Class 503's edition of Math Madness. That is the annual math fee that we got going on. Yes, yes, as you can see in the background there, we got Ms. Lorenzano, one of the architects of the event this year around. Uh, also, same goes for Ms. Roman. She was part of the B team that is responsible for helping put this together. And of course, I'm Mr. Borba. I'm going to be the host for today. And what we're going to do right now is we are going to uh, get started by doing a quick overview of the rules. We want to remind you that getting as far as this is an achievement because you have been selected by your teacher for the effort shown for by your performance on the math work that you do. And also just basically attendance, basically sort of the, 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 the seriousness and the earnestness with which you approached school in general. So uh, thank you very much for doing all that. And let's get started. All right. Let me go ahead and get over the rules real quick. Give me one moment. Okay, so just want to remind you that you are going to answer math questions with other members of your class. In this case, not your grade. Uh, we are going to keep most of it focused on fourth grade questions uh, because I know that we got a pair of fourth graders here with us. But then on top of that, uh, if we need to, we're going to dip into some fifth grade questions. We are going to just, oh, okay, there we go. We got a little light there. Looks good. Thank you, Chad. Well done. Welcome back, sir. All right. And so we're going to go over now the rules. All right. There's five, six key rules. And then one of those rules is a two-parter. So let's go over those before we get started. First is students participating in the event must keep their camera on as long as they're in the competition. If you cannot keep your camera on, unfortunately. Ah, yes, sir. See, that's somebody. All right. Tristan's ready with the headset and everything. Good. That's what I like to see. That's how this is going to go, okay? Make sure you keep that in position so we can see it. Because if you can't, then we can't honor any of the answers that you give us. So make sure that you keep that on so that we can see you. Keep the camera on as long as you're in the competition. If for whatever reason you are removed from the competition or you're knocked out, then we just turn your camera off. It's no big thing. Don't even worry about it. We'll take care of that. Second, all work must be completed with paper. And a pencil. There's a pen, but you know what I mean. So uh, the reason is that this is going to be the easiest way for us to do this. And so you can show us your work while you do this. Again, I'm going to recommend use a different uh, piece of paper for every question that we do. Because if you don't use a different piece of paper and you circle your answer and you show it to me and I see other circled answers, I won't know what I'm looking at. All right. Rule number three, we're going to do 90 seconds, right? We're going to do 90 seconds. So you will have one minute. You'll have 90 seconds to answer each question, right? We're going to bump it up just a little bit. You have to circle and show your final answer when Mr. Borber requests it. You also have to make sure that you are working independently on this, right? So we've got some people that are here in person with us. We've got some people that are remote. Last thing I'm just going to remind you is that when you are showing me your answer, you got to make sure that when you circle it and show it, I can see it in the camera the same way that you can see the number that I put on that piece of paper. The only reason I'm doing that is just to demonstrate what it's going to look like when you show your answer, right? Ms. Lorenzano will help serve as timekeeper. And then when I say pencils down, hands together, that means you'll just kind of put your hands like this. And then after that, we'll be able to kind of move on. Okay. Make sure you keep that camera on. Don't turn that camera on or off because it is going to, it's going to impact how it is that we're able to evaluate all this. All right. Rule number four is that you must show your work for the answers you submit. Does that mean that we are going to look at every single thing that you put on the paper? Absolutely not. What it does mean though, is that if you don't have any work and you just show me a number and it happens to be the right number, you don't get credit for it. We've already had to unfortunately send somebody else out of the competition when that occurred. So please make sure that you at least have something on your paper other than the number or the answer that you have. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, rule number five, if you answer a question correctly, you advance to the next round. That's how this works. It's everybody for themselves. If you answer it, you stick around. If you answer a question incorrectly, you get eliminated from the competition uh, and we'll turn your camera off. Again, no big thing. No pressure. Promise you that unless everyone in a round answers incorrectly. In the event that that happens, let's assume that a question is so hard that everybody gets it wrong. If everybody, if all students in a round answer a question incorrectly, then all students continue to the next round. We had that happen where the first question, everybody got it wrong. So everybody stuck around. So so keep that in mind as we are working through this, okay? All right. 
Lastly, please remember to enjoy yourself. This is meant to be just kind of like a fun diversion from what we would normally do. The fact that you made it this far is an accomplishment because it means that your teacher has entrusted you to be able to be a part of this independent competition, right? So give yourself a pat on the back so far. Bom, 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 for making it this far. Thank you very kindly. All right. And without further ado, we are going to begin with the first question. So please make sure that you have a pencil and paper ready, right? I need to make sure that you are the one doing the work for me. Let's go get that pencil and paper ready for us. All right. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Get a pencil and paper ready. Okay. All right. Make sure you got a pencil and paper ready to get started. Okay. So again, we'll tell you when to put pencils down. We'll give you 90 seconds after I get done reading the question the first time. Question number one. Question number one. Sue walked 40 minutes per day for 30 days. How many minutes did Sue walk? Again, Sue walked 40 minutes per day for 30 days. How many minutes did Sue walk? 90 seconds on the timer. Let's go. All right, y'all, let's put those pencils down, pencils down, pencils down, hands together like that so I can see where you, so I can see where you are. Let me see the hands. Let me see the hands. Let me see him, Chad. Let me see him. There we go. Thank you, Carrie Ann. Thank you, Janiah. Let me see. Let me see. No, you don't got to put them out like that. We're not like pouncing like a cat. You can keep your hands just like that. Chad, where are your hands at? Let me see your hands. Tristan, how we doing, bud? There you are. All right. Do me a favor real quick. At this point in time, please take your paper and reveal your answers via the camera let me see take a piece of paper take it with paper you got circle your answer please uh, make sure that answer was circled i think i see where it is make sure show me real quick show me what you got put the paper up against the screen for me please put the paper up against the screen for me please okay put the paper up against the screen for me chad what you got for me let me see the paper okay tristan the pencils are down i'm not sure what we're writing at this moment in time Chad, can we see the, what you got, Chad? You okay? Okay. All right. So I think that is gonna, that's gonna do it for us. All right. Okay. Got that. Thank you, Janiah and Carrie Ann for showing me a little something. I'm not sure what happened, uh, Tristan and Chad, uh, but with that being said, that uh, that's going to be the beginning and end right there because we have one person who has shown us the correct answer, and that is Carrie Ann. So let's give it up for everybody. Uh, all right. That's what's up. The answer is 1,200. The answer is 1,200. And so I was looking for that on the answer. All right. Right? Am I not, I'm not wrong, right? The answer was 1,200. Okay. So, yep, 30 times 40 was what we were looking for. All right, guys. Um, I don't know whether or not Ms. Knowles uh, made clear what was going on here. But either way, uh, thank you guys for showing up. I know this is kind of like a quicker competition. Um, 
at this point in time. Uh, we're going to uh, kind of wrap things up, I guess. So thanks, Carrie Ann. Um, thanks, Janaya. Thanks, Chad. Thanks, Tristan. Guys, if you didn't show me anything, there's nothing I can really do about it, okay? That's the thing is, like, that's the, with the rules we went over, with the rules we went over. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're just going to kind of go through the wrap-up ceremony really quickly. All right. And uh, we want to thank everybody for playing. Thank you, Carrie Ann. Um, and on that note, we're going to uh, switch over real quick. You guys, I think, are still able to participate in the field trip that is going on once you go back on over to your classes. Yep. And we'll go ahead and I'm just going to we'll drop some cameras. And thank you for, for so much for showing up. And without further ado, thanks for playing. The video is going to get released on May 28th. All right. So without further ado. Let's roll that last song before we get going. Thank you very much. Come on, guys, give me a sec. One moment. <laughs> <laughs>